I'm Peter, and we're talking two-factor authentication with single sign-on on Big IP Access Policy Manager, this time on F5 Def Central's Lightboard Post of the Week. So this week's question comes to us from Senthil147 out of the UK, and he's trying to do two-factor authentication with Active Directory and RSA tokens, but he needs to do single sign-on to the app and wants to know how do you then get the AD, the Active Directory Session ID, the password, Session ID, Session Password ID over to the application for single sign-on. So let's light up the solution to two-factor authentication plus single sign-on for big IP access policy manager. And our answer comes from Mr. Plastic. Lee Slaughter, he's one of our newest MVPs for 2018. Check out his Profile. We'll put the question and their profiles in the description for this video. So what Mr. Plastic actually offered up was a visual policy editor macro, a, a macro for Active Directory and single sign-on. The visual policy editor allows you to quickly and easily map inspections and policies uh, for your access situations. And within each of the boxes, you can also do these macros, which are kind of one-offs or something special you need to do. So Mr. Plastic describes the fact that on the logon page, he actually has three fields, the username field, the password field, and then the pin field. And then within the logon page, what he's going to do is capture the pin with this session variable, session.logon.last that pin. You'll then be able to authenticate the guy, do an AD query, find out uh, what's going on with the individual. And then a couple of key pieces within this solution is first, the single sign-on credential map. And what this does is it takes the, the session variable session.logon.last.username. So what's captured in here. So that's there. So this captures and then it recreates it into session, this, the session variable session.sso.token.last.username, the last username that was entered. And we do the same thing with logonlast.password and that also then also converts to session in the credential mapping. So we map the uh, username field and then also the password field to session.sso.token.last.password. Okay, and then the other final key to all this is this variable assign box. And what the variable assign box does is then it takes the session.sso.token.last.password. It takes the contents of that, or no, it recreates this session variable with the contents of this last.pin session variable, recreates it with that content so that it then gets presented to the uh, radius authentication. So that then means that you can use the pin and the token. So not only, you know, pin, token, password here at the radius auth, so then you get a successful single sign on to your applications rather than the failure. So big thank you to Senthil147 for the cool question and a big thanks to MVP, Mr. Plastic, Lee Slaughter, for a great solution and answer on how you do two-factor auth plus single sign on um, to backend applications. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and of course hit the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at D-E-V-C-E-N-T-R-A-L. I'm Peter, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the community.